So my name is uh, Denis Roncourt. I'm a physicist. I'm a former university professor and I am an environmental scientist. And I can tell you with certainty there is no climate crisis. That is a complete fabrication. It is politically driven. Uh, the media are at the service of this large global political movement. There is no climate crisis. Uh, the extreme weather events are not more frequent or more intense than they ever have been in the last, you know, as long as we've been keeping records. There is no evidence for that whatsoever. If you look at the actual data, the problem is there, there's not a lot of really good quality data that would allow you to say this. Uh, a lot of it has not been digitized yet from, you know, pre-Second pre World War. And, but the people who look at this and who are very careful have all said that um, there are decadal variations in frequency. Uh, the biggest anomalies that, that uh, completely override the data set is the uh, large uh, droughts from the 1930s and 1950s. That those are uh, huge anomalies compared to uh, what is otherwise a kind of baseline. There's nothing going on in the data. There are more people who are able to see and report more tornadoes and things like that. There's all kinds of artifacts and bias in how we see the weather as a society. But when you look at the actual data, all of the people who actually do field observations and analyze the statistical data do not see anomalies. They do not see uh, increases uh, that are not normally attributed to the natural variations of decadal variations and the known uh, cycles that are known on the planet that, that, that occur on less than decadal time scales. There, there, there's just no way to say that there is an increase in extreme weather events and further than that, it would be even more difficult to ascribe it if you could see it reliably and you could prove it reliably. Uh, it would be very difficult to ascribe it to CO2, an increase in CO2, uh, virtually impossible to do because there have been, in, on, on time scales, there have been variations like this that clearly would have had nothing to do with CO2. So attributing is yet another problem. Overall, you have to conclude, anyone who looks at this objectively and reads the actual scientific literature will have to conclude that there is no such thing as a climate crisis that involves a higher frequency and more intense weather events, whether they be uh, droughts, tornadoes, storms, uh, days of higher temperatures, uh, days of lower temperatures, uh, heavy precipitation, you name it. If you look at all the data, there's no such thing.